Yes, yes, once again, it's your main man, Kel Breezy, and I'm back. And it feels so good to be back. Kick off with Tom Bell to the house of horror show, Extreme Rules. Anyway, kicked off, kick off match, Kevin Owen taking on Buddy Murphy, your buddy, my buddy, your buddy. Buddy Murphy, of course, KO won, no surprise. Buddy Murphy can't get a win and say he is life. Jeez, man, he is so talented, he just can't get a win. You'd think him wrong with Seth Rollins, he would get more victories, but that just ain't happening. Now, is it? Of course not, it's not happening. It's not happening at all, and it sucks so bad. Anyway, first match for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, the New Day took on Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro in a tables match. I have to admit, Cesaro should be getting a singles push. Nakamura should be getting a singles push. But, you know, they didn't move him to tag team because, once again, WWE does not know what to do with talented wrestlers. That's great on the screen. They're entertaining. You know, they're great in the ring. They come great matches. I don't know because they're foreign. I use that word very loosely. You know, Cesaro, Switzerland, and Nakamura. Japanese, come on guys, they're talented. But hey, they are tag champs now on SmackDown. After, man, so much back and forth, hard hitting, didn't know who was going to win. Man, from the top rope, Cesaro power on Kofi Kingston through two tables to the floor. Man, Kofi wake up, he going to have a Jamaican accent again. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yes, man. Yes, yes, man. I went through two tables, man. Still very sad. Anyway, yep. Once again, Cesaro is a tag team champion. Let's see what, seven times? With, what, this is third partner? I don't know, it sucks. Whatever. Moving right along. Oh. Nikki Cross took on Bailey for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And when I say Nikki Cross came out hard, he came, she came out swinging, she came out off the top road, she did everything she could. But Bailey wasn't going down without a fight. She is SmackDown Women's Champion for a reason. She is part of Four Horse Women of WWE for a reason. She brought it to her. I mean, Nikki had it close, but thanks to her bestie, Sasha Banks, Bailey won. Still SmackDown Women's Champion. Probably like the longest reigning SmackDown Women's Champion, I want to say. Probably so. But it is what it is. Hey, not surprised for Nikki. She already had. Doubt as it is, Oscar, Kyra singing, let's let's try and cheer up for the match, but it just didn't work out. Oh the hell, but it's blue, 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 ha ha. So next for the United States Championship match, Apollo Cruz defend against MVP. But they're still selling this. Apollo Cruz is injured thanks to the full Nelson by Bobby Lashley. So he wasn't there. And so MVP crams up US champion via forfeit with that new yeah, kind of okay championship. It's, it's okay, it's better than what they did with the 24 7 championship. And they're way better than how more creativity was put into this building than was with the WWE championship, Universe championship, and the Raw SmackDown Women's championships, in my opinion. You know, I thought that like Ricochet and Sage Alexander was going to come out. You know, Bobby and MVP was in gear. I thought we were going to get an improv tag team match, but nothing. Just nothing. Yeah, yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Anyway, so um, Sasha Banks got to challenge Asuka for the Raw Women's Championship. Ah, oh, man, I'm glad Asuka's finally getting a push, finally getting some kind of accolades around here. And I would have been dope to see Sasha and Bailey have all the championships on the main roster. That would have been pretty dope, in my opinion. Sasha won, but controversial. Um, of course, Kyrie saying, try to help out Asuka, Bailey, try to help out Sasha, back and forth, helping each other. Referee 
cat green missed spinning his face by accident. Um, Bailey hit Oscar in the back of the championship. Sasha pinned Oscar. Bailey took the referee shirt off the referee. She put it on, kind of one, two, three, fourth time, keep her in there to ring the bell. And saying Sasha to Raw's champion. Like I said, it'd be dope if they was Raw and SmackDown's champion and tag team champions, but WWE has confirmed that Oscar is still the champion because Bailey was not an official referee. She was not a second referee to come out. So Oscar is still champion, 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 champion. Yeah. Cool beans. Now it's the WWE Championship match where Dolph Ziggler challenged Drew McIntyre. This got a psychopath. And Dolph got to pick stipulation, but he waited before the match. I mean, it was a smart plan. Where it is it was an extreme rules match, but only for Dolph Ziggler. And if Drew McIntyre got counted out or he was disqualified, he automatically lost the championship. So he lost his championship advantage. Man, this was a great match. Okay, I'm able to kind of exaggerate. That's great. But it was Dolph Ziggler once again for a great match, selling moves, putting out moves, and Drew McIntyre showing how much he has changed over here, how he's grown and evolved. And he talked less and claimed more. Poor Dolph Ziggler, when he wake up, he's going to be a male cheerleader again. So, hey, maybe they said enough for Randy Orton challenging Drew McIntyre for the championship after all. Mm, that's going to be interesting. Very, very interesting to see happen. But yeah, Drew's still a champ. Dope, 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 dope. Now, this eye for eye match where Seth Rollins, Rey Mysterio, the only way you win is you pull out your opponent's eyeball. I mean, of course it's going to be a good match because these guys are great workers in the ring. They know how to sell a move. They think Rey Mysterio has so much knowledge and he still got it for his age. I always give it to him. Seth Rollins is getting better and better. Seth Rollins won, of course, but and I just wish that, you know, they really did better with selling this whole Rey Mysterio and his eye pulled out. Have his hand over what, like, put his eye pulled out. The only thing that was missing, the key factor that was missing. There was no blood. Have you guys seen any horror movie? Like, don't you know that anytime my eye get pulled out, it's lingering, there's blood started everywhere. There was no blood. It was Rey Mysterio holding a fake eye in his hand or his face. No blood. You should have had blood. They really would have drove it home and people really believed that. Yeah, his eyes out. Only people part of fool like little naive kids, but any adult really know like, where where's the blood? There's zero blood like on his hands, on there's rain steps to floor nowhere. You really guys should have sold that. You kind of dropped the ball with that. Should have had blood. Now this swamp match between Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman was not for the Universal Championship, folks. It was not. And no surprise, it was hard hitting. This was mind games, and it was. They were trying to drown each other in this swamp. It was just weird. I'm enjoying these cinematic movies. I hope I said that word right. I'm enjoying these movies. They're fun, man. I, I like these. They're good. Oh, man. You know, the, the Boneyard match, AJ and the Young Taker, then the Money in the Bank ladder match at the corporate building was they're fun. They're different outside the box. And so with this swamp, man, go back and watch it again. You, and we'll enjoy it. If you haven't watched it, watch it, please. But you know what? They brought him back. The Fiend, he's back. So I guess at SummerSlam, it will be the Fiend challenging Ron Strongman finally for the WWE Universal Championship. You thought I thought I messed up? Nope. Yeah, I just said for championship night. Yeah, I did. Yeah, so. It's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be interesting this, this week to see how Raw SmackDown rolls. And I think I picked a pretty good week to finally come back. Ah, man, taking the part L, I messed up. I messed up with Tony. But it's no time like the prison to say this. And to close out with this. Finally, Kel Breezy has returned. Dang, I messed that up. Freak. Let me do it again. Let me try it again. Finally. 
Kel Breezy has come back to Wrestling Rants 901. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. Oh, speaking of that, Instagram. Name is no longer 901 Wrestling Rants on Instagram. It is now Wrestling underscore Rants underscore 901. So yeah, that's that's changed. So I definitely gotta update my shirts and stuff with the Instagram name and stuff. But anyway, but still everything else the same is Facebook, Wrestling Rants 901, YouTube, Wrestling Rants 901. It's just now everything is Wrestling Rants 901. And I am still not always will be 